Lakers taking on the Nuggets. Nikola Jokic has been a monster. 22-8-9 in the bubble. LeBron doing LeBron. Oh, good pass. Mm. Michael Porter Jr. has been a revelation early. Check it out here. A little bit more action. I love this right here. Keep it, Field. keep it, keep it. Pull up it. three. Shasha. Sha. Four straight 20-plus point games for Michael Porter Jr. Only at 15 tonight. Oh, get that. Oh. Oh, he played yeah. play like a man. Lakers ended the first quarter like a on a 13 to 2 run. Anthony Davis, 27 12. I mean, 27 5 assists. Six rebounds. Pretty good. LeBron here returns the favor. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma, the cutter. Lakers up five. Reggie and says something. Kuzma. Reggie says something Ooh. I wasn't even thinking about. He said big three. Earlier, I talked about the big two could take a. He's off. 15 shots enough for AD. Mm. When in Kuzma now, who, who, who took 16 shots? Is that enough? I like it because he had 12 free throws only. Um, definitely, I feel like I, you should see a 20 ball up there for him at least. But he was aggressive. He had, you know, 12 free throws. When you got LeBron shooting 21 shots, you know. Oh, the pass. I, I feel like it was pretty That's good for him. <laughs> Just under four minutes left in the game. Nuggets up to P.J. Dozier oh, had a up. career oh, high, man. 18 points, 10 Ballin'. Ballin'. LeBron to A.D. cuts the deficit to two, now down five, just over two minutes left. Danny Got Green. Him. Can't leave him open. You woke him up, Vince. Yeah. Oh, good pass, <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> Tar Heel. Clock, clock. Yo, watching this, watching Denver play their young guys and watching them get the Lakers this kind of Come on, game. Come Bobo. They're, they're preparing themselves for Absolutely. the playoffs. Absolutely. Oh, give me that. Absolutely. This no starters played in the fourth quarter for Denver. This is also, look, the Lakers look. offense came alive, but they also allowed the highest field goal percentage and the highest three-point percentage of the bub of the season. So the defense was a question mark, even though the offense got clicking. I mean, yeah, I mean, Denver shot 58% from the field, 56% yep. oh. from three. I mean, P.J. Dozier missed a chance. That's right here was good. Yo, thank you, Coles. the play. Uh, thank you, Coles. <laughs> right. He's going to be in the studio all, all night. night. Thank you, Coos. Great execution. Man, great play. Caught That's off a great play call, Coach. Most points for Kyle Kuzma since January Wait, 11th. Came down. Lakers win this one 124-121. They move to 52 wins on the season. Final look at the scoreboard here. Michael Porter Jr. did not miss a shot, but it was LeBron James and Anthony Davis combining for 56 points was enough for a win. Let's go listen live to Mike Malone, coach of the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we have who we have, you know, uh, and as I mentioned, it's I'm not trying to sound cold blooded, but you know what? Uh, we, we can't wait for the guys that are injured. You know, the playoffs are not going to wait for us and we can't play, wait for the injured guys. So. Who's ever ready to play and can play, let's go out there and compete. Uh, I think you guys know me well enough by now in my fifth year. Uh, we never focus or waste any time or energy on guys that are out. We're going to focus on the guys that can play, put them, put them in positions to have success, uh, and, and let it roll. And I think if you play hard and you compete, regardless of who's available, good things will happen. And I think you saw that tonight. So, uh, you know, the bench was great. I mean, Kata, Mace, PJ, Monte, and Bowl, phenomenal. <coughs> We had the lead late, you know, and, you know, LeBron does what LeBron does. Uh, they run a nice ATO. We have a breakdown at the end, and uh, they wound up hitting a three by Kyle Kuzma. So give them credit. They're a really good basketball team. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, four matchups, great games to the wire, and uh, it was great to see in that third quarter. Our starters go out there, set the tone, win that quarter. Jamal got going. I liked how we played on both ends. So a lot of positives taken from this loss. All right, next we're going to Joel Russ. Joel, go ahead. Damn locker room up. <laughs> a little messy of a locker room, but the excitement around Kyle Kuzma is clear. 25 points and a spot start with KCP. Remember, this is a Denver team. Still doesn't have Will Barton. Still doesn't have Gary Harris. I want to bring in Candace Parker because LeBron said something today that caught people's attention. It's kind of tough out there in the bubble. There's no fans. We're dealing with this. Candace, you are down there in your own bubble in Bradenton, Florida. Do you understand what LeBron's saying and can you explain it to us? No, I think everybody can relate to what LeBron James is is talking about. I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo said 
at the beginning that this championship was going to be earned. There's not going to be an asterisk. And I added there's going to be an exclamation point to whoever wins the, the championship this year because these are different circumstances. But they're different circumstances for everyone. And Reggie Miller pointed that out during the broadcast. But I honestly think the Lakers need to feed off energy. And I know um, everyone in the studio knows that when you get to postseason, there can be one play that can get you going. And just seeing that locker room and seeing the way that they reacted to Kuzma hitting a three that really didn't, I mean, they won a game that really didn't matter. Right. And just seeing their reaction, that's the type of energy that you need to get going and, and to, to kind of lose sight of all the things that are going on in the bubble. Candace, I know you you say a lot of people are struggling in the bubble. I just want to say you ain't struggling because you got your baby hairs on fleek right now. <laughs> You're looking good, mama. You're looking real good up there, mama. Lay. Man, this That's humidity is trying to not let me be great, Shaq. I'm telling you, this Florida humidity, nah. I don't know how you guys do it. You look good, DC baby. lives in Florida, D-Wade, Shaq, like... This is, this Cali girls, it's, it's different weather down here. There's an armadillo that went across the golf cart on the way over here. Like, I just, I don't, this Florida's a different beast. I'm Florida telling you. Is, Florida is different. Uh, to bring it back to the Lakers and Kyle Kuzma, you, you were talking before the big three. How big is it for somebody like Kuzma in a game that really doesn't have that big of a deal, but to see it go in, with 0.4 seconds left. Well, I just want to say one thing. I mean, at the same time, it, it doesn't matter, but at the same time, you don't want to give Denver and all of these other teams, hope, life, and hope. Like you said, I, you, you don't. I mean, you, you want to be dominant. Your goal, their goal is one thing, to win a championship. So every time you hit the floor, beat them down. Right. And I like Kuz. I can't say big three yet. OK. I don't, I don't, I don't want to put that pressure on Don't put on that me. pressure on Kuz. Oh, yeah, not yet. Next year, is the pressure's <laughs> coming. But and D, D, I agree with you. They don't get him involved enough. Sometimes he's. Null and void, and sometimes he plays like this. If he can play like this every game during the tough. postseason, they're yeah. going to be tough to beat. I think 11 the, to 16 for Coos. I think the thing for – when I look at this stat sheet, when I look at the Lakers, obviously 29, 27, and 25 for Coos. But I also look at – as I look I look at the other guys, Deion Waiters coming in and giving 12. Mm -hmm. Danny Green pitching 11. You got a couple eights. Like, they need three guys each night in the playoffs to step up. Kuz, Kuz has to be that third guy. But they also need Danny, Danny Green to make some big shots. They also need Deion Wade to come off and get some relief buckets if J.R. Smith get his opportunity. So this has to be, this is going to be a collective thing. The big two, they got to lead the way. Kuz got to get in, do his thing. But they also need these other guys to come in, chip in, do their job. But can Kuz get 25 every night? If the, if, I can't say 25, big fella. But if they keep Kuz involved, Kuz, is a, he's a rhythm scorer. If he hits one shot, Kuz can go off and give you 20, 25. So they have to make sure that they run in sets and plays. Like at the end, amazing play out of the timeout to get Kuz involved, get his confidence rolling as they go into the playoffs. So they got to continue to do that. But I think you guys can agree, if the focal point, like in your day, was on both of you, it's less pressure for the mm. third guy. So now he just goes out there and, and, and underst understand the game plan, how the game is being played, and say, hey, the double teaming you in pick and roll, the double teaming you in the post. When it's kicked out, I got to knock these shots down. Totally. Point blank. So that takes the pressure off of it, and you just go out there and play carefree. Candace, what's and, your confidence and, in Coos? And to add to what all of you guys are saying, you know, what do you say in a series? You say, role players do not play well on the road. Well, now <laughs> you're in the bubble. Yeah. And there's no crowd. I mean, there's virtual fans, but that's, you know, I mean, that's Shaq popping up every once in a while on the, <laughs> in the crowd. <laughs> um, but honestly, I think that this is going to be a playoff series that role players and players that are those third and fourth guys are really going to play well in these mm -hmm. playoffs because the pressure is off. There's no fans. They're going to shoot the same shot they've shot the entire time they've been in the bubble. I also want to say we always focus on the winner, and that makes sense. But Denver came out there. Eight players scored in double figures, but 10 players got more than 20 minutes. So they got a lot of run in a pretty good atmosphere for a Denver team that how do they use Michael Porter Jr. when Gary Harris and Will Barton come back?